Hello beautiful people, welcome to Kate's Space. I'm Kate from Pixie K Designs and today I've got a journal flip through for you. This is my garden story journal and sort of envelope shaped folio that I made uh, for the collaboration that's just finished uh, by Rachel Bella Crafts with Angela Kerr. I will link uh, I'll put the link tree below so that if you're fashionably late to the party, you can go and check everything out. And uh, I had a couple of videos making this journal, uh, which I'll also link and will come up on the screen at relevant times. So I, uh, I only really ended up with a little bit of stuff left over. <laughs> I tried to stuff everything I made and printed out into these uh, journals so to speak. This one I made following um, Steph from Hilltop View Journals. I made following her tutorial and it turned out to be a little bit more of a journal than I really planned. So I showed it on Instagram, but let's have a little flip through. Now it's got this little charm on the front. So I made these charms out of one of the printables. I printed it like, I think 16 to a page or something. And then I used some, is it glossy accents or something like that? Dimensional Magic, which is a Mod Podge product. I didn't know how it would work, but it worked out quite well. So there's these little tiny charms. There's a few little air bubbles in there, but um, it's meant to be grungy. So I feel that if it's not perfect, now I put garden story on the front here. I had made this little um, sort of title thing, but I didn't really find anywhere to put that. So uh, I typed that, a little safety pin and some a scrap of lace there. Now this sort of opens up and there's this folded paper. Now I made this following Heather at Ruby and Pearl, she made some recently and I made some with her digitals and I thought, oh, it'd be nice to make one for my garden story journal. In here is a copy of one of my original photos and it's a very old photo of a couple of ladies in the garden. And also inside here is a tag I've made with some old book page backed onto some sort of grungy old card that I have. And this just opens out. So this is just one of the digitals and it's been folded, folded up. Just so it's very simple. Nothing too complicated there. So it can be used in the journal or it can be used for the journaling space or to make something else. And that just goes in that lace pocket. And then I threw some a signature in here. This is some napkin on some very old 1800s New Zealand Gazette. And then there's just a variety of papers in here, book page, note paper, and all the fussy cuts, or yeah, pretty much the majority of them. Oh, here's another one. Let's pop that in there too, are in this uh, vintage glassine uh, envelope. I bought these glassine bags from Francis. Uh, I'll link that below as well. I can't remember her handle off off um, off hand. And I made this little tag with a dried flower on there. Some book page, some braille paper, some tea stain paper, some very old book paper. But I love the sort of garden sort of theme of those pages. This tag is just made out of one of the pages which I've folded. Uh, this has been... Uh, printed onto matte photo paper, then coffee dyed, and I just put a snippet of lace. So again, it was something I'd printed out and not used, but I wanted to use it. Uh, some Edith Holden in the middle, that's one of my favorites. And this is basically just tied in with seam binding, so it can be removed and replaced by other pages if, if someone wanted to. Then there's uh, something from the kit, and this is just one of those little Dutch cards that you can get. Someone gifted those to me. But I like the little blue flowers. And then obviously these are all the other halves of the pages. And it folds out. 
and then I made this with a frame. I think this frame is from the Graphics Fairy. This is from the kit. And it's just got some old cardboard on the back that could be covered with something or written on. Other side of the book page, the grid paper. This is an old guest check. I just popped a little daffodil on there. And that's the other side. And then in here is an envelope that... Again, that was part of Steph's uh, tutorial, but she used it as a page, and I had done it and then forgot to use it as a page, but I made it into an envelope instead. And in here is just a little package of goodies, a tag, a library catalog card, a, a photo that's from Ruby and Pearl, a picture from the kit, and a little bit of uh, texture paste on there. Um, and it's wrapped up with this very old paper that was around. Oh, there's some. Oh, there's some card playing cards in there too. <laughs> I didn't see those. I'll pop them in the front. Um, this was wrapped around some velvet that I bought. It's quite old and brittle, but I kind of like the grungy look of it. And a little flower with an old pin. So that's basically that sort of add-on thing I will put these in my shop I'm not sure whether I might put this in separately it's kind of undecorated and it's got some extras so it might be a nice little project for somebody um, so when you go to my Etsy shop you'll see it'll either be lumped in together with the journal or sold separately I think maybe separately I'm not sure I haven't decided so that's the little folio journal thing and here's the actual journal now I decided I wanted to make something a little bit taller and it's quite wide so she's quite big uh, let's measure her about 28 and a half centimeters by about 16 and it's a one signature journal it's got a little spine here just to make room so I made a little spine and then that's just got curved because it's quite a soft cover now it's covered with some batting, some lovely cotton batting, and then this linen, and then obviously this linen over the top, held closed by some grungy coffee dyed seam binding. And then just on the front of here, I've sewn on this flower, and we've got a little charm that says story, and a very old key on a little tag and that says garden shed now that's those are hold up held on by a lobster claw which is sewn on so that can all be removed if you wanted to and this is actually this is attached here it's glued on okay so let's open her up so in the front I put this pocket and made this sort of sewn thing. A lot of this is sewn. There is some glue here too, but you could probably unpick lots of this and take it apart. In the front here, this is the only um, part of the kit that kind of had the pinks and purples and nothing really seemed to match to go in here. So I made this little tag with a purple hydrangea flower on it. Um, and then I actually wanted to try printing on some of the typewriter paper that I had bought I got a whole box of it uh, when I went thrift shopping with Barb one time and I wanted to try printing on it so I've just attached that little fussy cut flower which is from the kit these are from Ruby and Pearl and I've printed them on this cool typewriter paper and I love how they've come out kind of like quite faded I've put a little stamp here but on the back um, you can kind of see through the printing but that is some vintage uh, typewriter paper. I love it. I love how that looks. I'll be using that again. And actually, if you hold it up to the light, this does have a watermark, watermark on it. So I've simply folded those. There's a piece of very old book page here from an old um, book, The Vegetable World. So I've included that as well, just because I had that. And then I printed this out as well, also from Ruby and Pearl. And that's a lovely sort of copy of an old magazine, but garden themed again. And again on that beautiful typewriter paper. So yeah, I love how those turned out. Yeah, so they tuck in there. 
Then the first page is some vintage music paper, butterfly wings, and you, I've already shown this on my Instagram, and this is one of the ruffles I made in my video, which uh, will be linked. I then cut out some of the butterflies from the kit and added those butterfly wings, and this is a Tim Holtz die cut, which I, I cut out some of the scraps of the, of the kit. A book page... This is from the kit and hanging on here is one of the little dangles I made and a little sort of hat, gardening hat. And I made this tab out of one of the, out of the kit as well. This is some paper I dyed with onion skins and I never thought I'd use it because I'm not a big, I'm not, I don't use yellow very often. And this is one of the tags and this is like very old computer paper, which is why it's got this, um, these circles Another book page. I thought that book page, the cottage garden, fitted in really well with the theme. And on the other side, I had done, I put some pattern paper. I glued it on and I hated how it looked. So then I did a bit of collaging and actually this turned out to be one of my favourite pages. So I've collaged on top of that. I've made this tag out of some embossed paper and use it as a tuck. And this is out of the kit. I fussy cut that. Uh, a tag on some old wallpaper. Oh no, that's, yeah, I printed on some wallpaper. So that's printed wallpaper and then I've put something from the kit on the back, a die cut and some texture paste. I love how that tag turned out actually. And this is an old French, genuine French letter. Um, I'll open it up even though it's hard to do up again. Just so you can have a proper look. And I've done some, obviously you can see I've done some texture paste on this. So that's what it looks like opened up. But I love the blue. So yeah, time to part with some of these things that I have been hoarding for a long time. So that tucks behind there or in front of there, whatever. Some of the braille paper, which I copy dyed and another tab that I've cut out made from the kit papers, some scraps and a little leaf and another one of those little um, charms that I made. Another page from the kit with this ruffle. And I've printed both sides of that. This is a very old big envelope. So I've got nothing in there. And I had fun with this. This little die cut here is actually from Lily. Thanks, Lily. And she sent me these. And it's been cut out of wallpaper. And I thought, oh, that picket fence would be great. And then I put these die cuts behind it, sort of to emulate a garden sort of scene. So I really liked how that turned out on the eco dyed envelope. On this side of the envelope, it's, it had some, it's got some writing on it uh, of what was in the envelope originally. So I covered up that up with this belly band, some texture paste and lace. And in the belly band is another of those very old book pages, which is in the folio. And again, there's kind of some garden scenes in here. So this is like from the 1800s and a coffee dyed uh, index card to be used in some way tucked into that belly band under there. This is just a plain tea dyed piece of note pa uh, drawing paper and there's one of the ruffles we made in my video. And again, I repeated this page. I love this page and that's the same as the one on the front, but this has been coffee dyed and grunged up. This is some avocado dyed lined paper. This is from the kit and these have been printed onto A3 paper. Another ruffle made up of some sort of old lacy stuff and some seam binding. And this is part of an old scarf that I have. Love how that turned out. This is some very old music paper, a plain page. And it's been reinforced with this paper tape. But yeah, it's very old. Here's some wallpaper. Again, this is from Lily's shop. And I'll link her shop below. And this is a, I made a tuck out of the wallpaper and put this ruffle that I'd made with some of these flowers. And this is a tag I made following Brigida on Klebat Creations. So she was part of the collaboration and I followed her tutorial to make some grungy tags. And that's just backed with some very old card again with the old markings on it. I love how those tags turned out. I love making those. So that's the back of the wallpaper, obviously some more tea dyed note paper, another tag. So again, this uh, background is from the from the kit and these are the Tim Holtz dies that I cut out of the kit paper. One of the 
Butterflies are fussy cut with some very old lace and some corrugated cardboard and these are stapled on with some rusty old staples. And I've just used a little Tim Holtz mini paper clip there just to give that a bit of stability. I ended up using the back of that envelope. If you watch my uh, one of my videos, you'll know I was umming and ahhing about that very old envelope I had. So I ended up using the back of it and making a pocket. I've put little uh, gussets on either side just to give it a little bit more room so it doesn't tear. And then this beautiful handmade paper, isn't that gorgeous? That's, again, from Lily's shop. Um, Lily um, makes beautiful hand paper, hand paper and embosses it so it's got the petals and stuff and this beautiful embossing I thought it really suited the suited the theme so that went in and I just love this the grunginess of that old envelope here I've just clipped some something a uh, little card from the kit and that's been printed on both sides it's just got some old paper printed on the back and this is a little cigarette card because I thought I should include some birds in my <laughs> journal and just a ruffle made from some old linen and here's one of my library cards I have these in my shop the library catalog cards with a little bit of texture paste which I colored with some uh, distress ink yellow and blue and then the little butterfly here and just a little bit of seam binding and I love how that turned out as well I'm really pleased with those cards they are a lot of fun to play with this is some very old French music that I included in the middle, Le Jardin du Roy. Um, I know that means the gardens, but of, I don't know what ROI means, but anyway, it is French and that's a lovely garden scene there with the sari silk ruffle. And in the middle with the uh, strings, I just put another, I've just tied another little, um, another little uh, tag thing that I made and that's just tied on to the string so it can be removed and the strings can be cut or something else can be put on. A little bit of texture paste up here. This is some grid paper. Oh, this paper is out of an old stamp album my sister gave me and this is a beautiful stamp that I uh, borrowed and stamped a whole lot of paper up at my friend Barb's. It's just a beautiful stamp of a woman and I, it's, it's just a favourite of mine. I had a little bit experiment while I was making tabs and made one out of some corrugated cardboard that's got some gesso on it. And here is another page from the kit. This one flips out and I've just left this folded up bit. There's a little bit of very old grungy tape measure here. This is some wallpaper that I have or like a wallpaper border. And this is another one of the tags I made. And I've just stapled on this bit of lace and sort of coffee dyed sari and, you know, just to make it look grungy. Oh, and there's a little um, old uh, insurance type certificate from 1948 in there as well. A little bit of New Zealand ephemera. Over the page, I wrapped the wallpaper over and uh, it took me ages to decide whether I was going to leave it there or cut it off or what but then I decided I'd make a little tuck out of it so I've put some uh, eyelet lace and this old very old lace here some corrugated cardboard a little bit of a doily and then I found that I had a nice blue wax seal and I actually really like how that turned out and I've tucked behind there just a very old postcard I don't know how old uh, there's no stamp or date on it but I've popped that in there with the yellow roses Another ruffle with some lace and then some of the coffee dyed seam binding that I've just hand sewn onto there. And now we're on the other side of all the pages. There's another tab with a little watering can and another one of the little trinkets I made. And here I made this little linen into a belly band. And I didn't really know what to put behind it, but I had this really old book page from the 1800s and I really liked how, I really liked the birds on it and it's really grungy and I like the look of it just sitting there. So I've tucked that behind there, but anything could go in behind that. And that's the other side of the avocado dyed paper that folds out. This folds out, opens out too. So lots of space here to do more decorating uh, and writing some of my eco dyes these are pahutakawa flowers 
and this is the other side of the envelope so again there's another big envelope there which I haven't put anything in page from the kit the other side of the coffee dyed braille paper another very grungy ruffle the other side of the book page which I've left as is and on this side I've used another book page to make a pocket and in there I put another of the coffee dyed blue index cards with some stamping just tuck that in there the other side of the uh, yellow onion skin dyed paper and I've put a blue doily on there and that's cabbage dyed I'm pretty sure all black bean one or the other and another little ruffle at the top of this kit page and another pocket made with a really grungy old uh, linen that I had and I really wanted to use it in this journal uh, another one of the grungy tags uh, that I made and there's a video of me making those and that's just on that's just some manila file van manila file holder and I made a scrappy pad because oh my gosh my scrap bin is out of control guys so I put a little bit from the kit uh, some embossed sort of craft paper some of the eco dyed some book page and then some vintage ledger type paper, some vintage book paper, just some tea dyed paper and some braille paper in there. So I love how that turned out. And I think I'll be making some more of those because I really need to do something with my scraps. And that's a book page. And here's the other side of that very old music paper. I've put in some little photo corners. These are vintage. My sister gave me these, a bit of uh, texture paste. And I think, did I glue the photo in? No, I think, I'm pretty sure that photo will come out. That's a very old photo, an original of a garden. And then that's just the back with some stamping. And this is the very back page, obviously, which I've wrapped the doily round and I've only glued it at the bottom so you can tuck this something in there. And just another little tag with another of the little things I made. <laughs> and some kit page on the back. So you could write on this if you wanted to. And that is it. So she's quite fat. I decided I was going to make a fatty. Um, and I was going to put lots of frills and things in it. And I'm really, really pleased with how this journal has turned out. So when you see this video, this and the folio will be in my shop. And uh, yeah, they'll either be together, lumped as one, or they'll be separate. Um, so yeah, I haven't decided yet. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the collaboration as much as I have. It's autumn here, but we've actually had some beautiful weather. So I'm just pretending it's spring. So I had a lovely time making the spring journal and uh, being involved in the collab. So thanks, Rachel and Angela, for that. It was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys have been inspired. I hope you're all well. And I will see you again soon in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.